Wow, what's going on here? This is amazing. What's happening? Some of you may know that one of my dreams is to have one of those, uh, I don't know if you call it mini digger or uh, mini excavator. We call it mini excavatore in Italian and uh, I would love to have one uh, to use it to plant uh, some trees and do some works on the property. Interesting story. A few days ago I saw from my bedroom uh, I was laying down on the bed uh, and uh, I saw this uh, mini excavator arriving on a truck. It, it was loaded on a truck and uh, I could see it from, uh, from the room. And uh, this is a private road, so uh, when somebody shows up on this private road, uh, it means that uh, they are looking for me or searching for me or for Sarah or to leave uh, something for us. I saw this truck with this mini excavator arriving here and I asked Sara, what's going on? Uh, do you have something to tell me? Do you made me a surprise? <laughs> and I was so excited uh, and so happy. And then I only discovered a uh, few minutes later that this uh, mini digger was for our neighbors. Uh, you can see their house over there because they are building a, a retaining wall up there, I don't know if you can see it up there, they are building that retaining wall and uh, I will be filming all the process and I will be sharing with you how they are building this retaining wall that is really interesting, really cool, really nice. Uh, one day I will be able to have that emotion and that uh, feeling of uh, seeing one of these arrive uh, to my property and be in mine uh, to be able to use it uh, and do a lot of projects uh, which I would love to, to do with it. Good morning beautiful people! Now actually guys it wasn't me unfortunately I didn't buy the mini excavator, the mini digger for Luca and I felt so bad because actually he was so excited about it and he knows that I love to surprise people every time so but this time wasn't me maybe in the future but we will be filming the entire process of our neighbors building this beautiful retaining wall out of tree logs so this is something that we have seen here in the area it's quite common in the area but we have never seen the entire process so stay tuned till the end of this video because you will see the before and after and our neighbors they wanted to build this retaining wall because they wanted to have a place where they can safely park their cars and they will have shadow during summer so it would be amazing to see all the process Luca will be documenting everything and in the meantime I'm here with Lucia we are playing in her new space, yes space. Uh, the Montessori floor bed worked very fine and we added these really cool panels. So she can be safe, she can play here, she can sleep in her own bed. And then today, later on, we will go and explore a little bit this area. We would like to show you some abandoned ruins, abandoned houses, um, so you can see a little bit more the area we are living in and you can see how is the landscape, I think it's very interesting. Let's go, let's go and see what daddy is filming outside. It's a process that will take one or two weeks, so you will see uh, everything in this video, but Luca has been filming this for a long, long, long time and I hope you enjoy it. Papa, 
Naturalistic engineering is a technical scientific discipline that studies the methods of use of life plant material with stone, earth, timber and steel. The historical scope of application of this discipline is the prevention of hydrological instability and therefore the matter finds wide application in the operations of consolidation, stabilization, hydraulic, drainage and re-neutralization of the land with a view to protection from erosion, development of natural environments, as well as safeguarding the landscape and mitigation of the environmental impact, in order also to reintegrate places and infrastructures. Naturalistic engineering works for soil protection. For some years now, cement has been replaced, where possible, with wood. It's better and easier to use in the garden and it's naturally more beautiful to look at. Containment palisades and retaining walls are structures made with wooden poles and half poles placed horizontally. With certain structural limits, this technique has proven itself over the years to be reliable, cheap and perfectly respectful of the environment. The naturalistic engineering works can be used mainly in the following cases unstable slopes, draining support works for landslides, support for courtyards, gardens, terracing, and prevention of possible landslides. The double walled piling consists of a framework of chestnut trunks forming a structure to contain the soil. Normally, the chambers created between the trunks are filled with willow cuttings or bundles or hearths to help consolidate the structure. The naturalistic function is given by the presence of the vegetation itself, which increases the natural component of the work. And as far as the aesthetic function is concerned, on the other hand, the presence of vegetation promotes the landscape aspects by reducing the visual impact of the structure itself. <laughs> The technique of naturalistic engineering has distant origins and can be traced back to the ancient Romans. Wood and earthworks were common for the construction of fortifications and defensive walls. Roman legionaries had to be able to quickly build a camp using locally available materials such as logs, branches, earth and stones. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? There's mommy! Ciao mamma! Ciao Luce! Ciao amore! Now we are visiting uh, some of the houses here in the Alps of Italy that uh, it's a shame because they are really nice, they are beautiful, the locations are amazing and the owners uh, are old uh, they just come here to check uh, if uh, somebody is stealing or they are trying to uh, break in the property they are not using the houses and uh, the, without coming here and uh, staying here and uh, you know renovating a little bit uh, they need a lot of 
maintenance and uh, they are falling apart and it's a shame because they are so beautiful. It's really hard to renovate these kind of uh, houses because they are not uh, built uh, with um, today's uh, safety standards. Some of them uh, do not have connection with water or with uh, electricity. Look at this guys. It's a beautiful house. And you have this amazing view. In the area where we are living in, you can find tons of ruins, tons of houses that are abandoned. Or as Luca mentioned before, they have owners. But the owners really don't care about this. We are in a remote location, as you know, we are pretty we live far from the city and it's amazing how they build all the walls, dry walls and walls with wood, uh, but they are falling apart. So we have to do a project and renovate all the ruins, all the houses here and build a mega village. <laughs> so lots of people can come and visit uh, and uh, every time I visit uh, some of these ruins, uh, I always love to see how they are exposed uh, to the sun so here in the northern hemisphere when you face uh, south uh, is where you get most of the sun and this one is really well exposed uh, basically it has uh, all this facade facing south so i always think uh, about solar panels uh, and uh, how to have uh, these houses off grid uh, where they can get electricity from the sun and water from the spring so you can be totally off grid i always love to imagine how they were when they were new and people were living here but also i also like to imagine how they could become with some comforts that we are used to but with the look and the touches of the old of the original house how small the doors are you see how many years could have this house? What do you think? Probably... You see there are some big cracks yeah. on the walls. The house is, is kind of floating on the ground because the ground is not stable. We have some earthquakes here in this area. And but the house is still here. It's locked so we cannot go inside. In this one? Yeah, probably she's uh, yeah. 200 years old uh, yeah. or more. And I love uh, that here you can see this was the original, how they built the original roofs. Uh, we already showed you and talked about these uh, roofs uh, in other videos. Uh, here we call it uh, tetto in lose, so lose are these uh, pieces uh, of uh, stones that uh, the shape makes the water slide uh, on top of the roof. They are super super heavy. So and Super expensive nowadays. Yes, because when you rebuild the roof, uh, since uh, the material is expensive, because you need to buy all these stones, uh, they are uh, hard to, to get and expensive plus uh, the engineer that is calculating and uh, making the project and calculating uh, how heavy the um, the roof will be needs to calculate all the the heavy stones that goes on top plus all the snow that potentially could uh, add on top of the on the roof that's why it's so expensive because you need to build this super huge and strong roofs And this is the way we are going down the hills, securing the stroller. Yeah, you never know. Here, during uh, winter time, they throw a lot of uh, salt and uh, these little rocks uh, that uh, when it's snowing, uh, the purpose is to melt uh, the ice and the snow, preventing ice to, to create. Uh, but uh, when it's like this, uh, 
it's really slippery you can uh, me it's it's quite uh, steep you cannot see it from the camera but it, it's quite steep and sometimes uh, you can uh, slide and you can fall so it's better to to have uh, something secure so if i fall down uh, and i need to use my hands as the the stroller and looter are safe uh. and even if you lose control of the stroller because of who knows yes uh, it's safe you because attached. it's attached to me We love to live in the mountains, guys. Here is beautiful. We have nature, we have pure air, we have places to go with Luce. She loves to stay with us outdoors, so she always taking a nap while we are walking outside. But it's becoming, it has become more challenging uh, for the past months after Luca left the hospital because he needs to go to Torino almost every week. And we are very excited because at the end of the month, Luca will have a huge checkup at the hospital, uh, MRI and everything that needs to be checked. And after that day, at the end of the month, we will know how everything is going, especially in Luca's head, in Luca's brain. For us, uh, it's a huge thing because yes. uh, knowing uh, if I'm okay to travel, to leave uh, home, uh, to leave uh, Torino and leave Piedmont uh, and explore other regions. Uh, as you may know, <laughs> we really would like to go to the seaside. Uh, we really would like to go to south of Italy where the temperatures now are about uh, 20, uh, from 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, and here during the night, uh, it's about uh, minus two Celsius. Uh, so it's freezing over here and over there. You can just walk uh, with a t-shirt basically uh, when it's sunny like this. And we have also huge projects that we'll be, we will be revealing in next videos in the future, but we have huge projects on the seaside. Yes, it, it has been a dream for us uh, for several years. Uh, and uh, after what happened, uh, we know that we should try to make our dreams come true as soon yeah. as possible because you never know uh, <laughs> if you are here or not and for how long so it's yeah. time to start uh, working uh, and making our dreams become tr true project very interesting to see how still they build walls with rocks, with stones, with wood, with iron, the old old fashioned way to build things. So we have that kind of, um, I think, opportunity to show and to, to experience, to, to learn. Experience. Uh. Yeah, to learn because it's not every day, not everywhere you can see these kind of things. So yeah, especially here in Italy, 
after the 90s uh, they were using uh, and uh, probably abusing uh, the use of cement uh, mm -hmm. so <laughs> you could see all these uh, houses buildings and uh, uh, walls uh, built uh, from uh, cement uh, that uh, they are not so pretty and uh, so trying to use uh, uh, natural materials like wood uh, stones uh, without cement uh, is a brilliant and beautiful way to to see building <laughs> Maybe it's also about time to remove the Christmas stickers from the windows. And this one is another abandoned house. We left the stroller down there. Now we have to see if we can clear the road and have access to the house. I remember that six or seven years ago, Luke and I, we entered that house. I'm trying to clean, at least we can try to reach uh, the entrance door. Like exploring. Wow, this is huge. From this side, even more. Okay, and, uh, shoes on the floor. Um, These are really old shoes. Wow. Really, really old. Try. Are you ready? Yeah. I have light over here. A lot of bottles. Let's turn this light on. Beautiful. Somebody was eating here and living here. I think they were making some wine. Yeah. A lot of tools. Other shoes. Some tools. This is beautiful. More tools. Wow. This was for milk. Cabinets. Uh, there's still some glasses in there. Oh, this is scary. Oh, there is a toilet. The bathroom out there. Yes, probably they, that's the bathroom. They didn't have the bathroom inside the houses. Do you like it, Lucha? <laughs> Let's see. Next door. Ah. Yeah. Uh, 
here it was just for animals. For animals, uh, they used to come here and eat. Uh, And there are some stairs over there to go upstairs. Round floor, first floor and second floor. So it's, can you imagine how many people were living in here because it's very big. Yeah, it's huge. Maybe two or three families for yes. sure. Four families or a huge big family. And there is also all that part of the house that we cannot access right now because it's all a tree fell down here where the stairs are. So let us know in the comments if in the future you would like us to explore more of this house. It's a huge project because in order to get up there we need to clean a path. So let us know in the comments if something that you are interested in doing this project. Oh, Luce is hungry, we have to go back and see the progress on the wall. Let's go. Bye bye house. I love this table made of stone. Beautiful table. It's huge. Let us know in the comments if you know what these are for. For bees or the kind of... Oh, this was the toilet. Uh, this was the toilet, I think. Uh, wow. I love making some discoveries uh, like this. And there is also an access from here. And an access from there. But I don't know if the, if the if the floor is still safe and can hold a, a person. So it's quite unsafe to go in there. Okay, let's go back home. I'm 
final result guys it's amazing it looks so bigger than before I am very impressed it's outstanding they did an amazing job and I also like it aesthetically yes. not only because it's a technique that respect nature and don't use like uh, some kind of materials and it was completely new for me yes and uh, it's still needs to be uh, finished i mean uh, they are building a fountain and they are building they are putting some plants in front that will cover even more the the wood so it will be a lot of uh, colors from the flowers and the plants uh, so it will be amazing but here the space that they just gain the room that they gain on this platform is amazing yes and uh, I learn a lot of skills uh, that in the future maybe when I will have my own uh, mini excavator mini digger I will be Ooh. able to to do things like this another message to Sara Sara excavator digger <laughs> okay guys we hope you enjoy coming along on today's adventure with us if so please share to us smashing the thumbs up button hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video and please consider subscribing to this youtube channel if you haven't done already please let us know in the comments if this is the first time that you have seen a, a construction like this we are really curious about it we love you we appreciate you thank you for coming along with us and we will see you next sunday remember la vita è bella life is beautiful ciao <laughs> Love always wins! Oh. <laughs>